Some of Rice's men disappeared in the slabs, and if you ask me, whatever happened to him was too good. But I'm nearby, so Kareem wants me to go see if I can find him, and since I need the answers in, I'm in no position to argue. Hi. -ya. You know the drip. Holy shit! What? Seriously? Hey, welcome. It's the Rochmeister with another few editions of Dying Light. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the extra content here in the next couple of days. I just, I just, you know, I thought I was the alien. I mean, the zombie there for a moment. I did a quick attempt at being a zombie just to show how next to impossible it is to be the zombie. <laughs> I can never get in to anybody else's game. I open my game up and people come and kill me with great glee and I think it's kind of fun but it's weird. I don't know if there's something wrong with the Linux version of it. Who knows? Who knows? What I know is it ain't working. I have never once been able to be the zombie, and it's pretty frustrating. Uh, so instead, I'll be the human. I'll be the human, and I will go and let other people so, be the zombies. I could safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? We have done this. Before. No, but he is the most Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. Yeah, we all die sooner or later. I may not get to Rises. Um. In time. Trying to get, I guess I'm trying to get down here. Yep, it's night time. And will they invade or will they not invade? I should be talking constantly, but I run out of things to say. I mean, seriously, how much talking can you really do? Apparently, some people, quite a lot. Uh, where is this place? I think I'm almost there. I think that's it in the blue. Fiendish blue place of all blueness. Seriously? That I did not mean to do that. Huh, nobody's invading. I have a nightly invasions. Prince. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. <laughs> Rice is waiting for me. Rice is a piece of. If you work. show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Give them a hand and they'll take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you cannot give a simple task. What a sexist pig. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Anderson. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine, like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Antazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. 
You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No, no, forget it, I'm not doing it. I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. There's like so many things wrong with this. I can't even begin to. First of all, why do all these other oh, brutes let that guy blow them away, shoot their hands, cut their hands off? But I guess that's reality. I mean, thugs everywhere. They let other thugs run them. And I guess, yeah, it, it actually don't. Uh, thugs are always shooting other thugs, and that's that's why they're thugs, and that's why they all die or go to jail or both. Uh, and the other thing is like, are you going to be a man and save the woman? Or a dog and save the people? <laughs> I'm going to be a man and save them all, and you're going to be a scum-sucking little pig dog. Bye-bye! Oh, they... Is it now? So the, 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 the guy is hateable enough, but he's too stupid. He's nests. just too stupid. It's, it's hard to fully invest in the story, because this guy is just too cliché stupid. Although, I will say, he reminds me of Khan from The Wrath of Khan in his accent. I don't like that. I like that. But that's that's like the only thing. <laughs> well, the, we the weakest part of this game is the story. The characters are okay, but the story is just weak. Weak. Ah. Ah, got to get my stuff together. Can't figure out which direction is up. It's closed now. Watch for movement. There it is. Okay. Okay, um, where is it? Oh, the little dagger pose. I'm a knife fighter. You shall have your little slitty slitty holes cut in you because I am the night fighter. I am a road rash, road ruin night fighter. Uh, one internet to anybody who has any idea what the heck I'm referencing. Here, I got him, I got him, I got him. I don't got him. <laughs> He's, uh. It's actually either a deceptively little. Fast, even when they're not like even supposedly they slow down when you when you've got them all weakened with the light. But this is the most annoying part of this: is these random volatiles. Oh, what the heck! Arg! Depressing. <laughs> it's not even one guy. Yeah, I don't even. This is see, see. There's a partial. Your on a swivel. When you're one player, there's two of them. And you have to kill two for one nest, and I'm not even full done with the one dude. Um, and I was saying something vaguely important a while ago that I forgot. Turn your light on, dope. I forgot to turn the light on. Uh, so that, that right there is a nice way to defend yourself. Did we get it? These guys. Oh, another thing. Don't use the dagger. The dagger doesn't um, cause any... Come on, what's going on? Light. 
the dagger doesn't cause any delay in their attack on you. So Where is it? Oh my gosh, this is annoying. What the heck is going on? Why don't I turn my light on? Can you tell I'm doing some post-production commentary? <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here killing this thing in the total dark. And I die. Oh, come on. Because I'm stupid, because I don't turn the light on. I mean, seriously. Turn your freaking lamp on. Oh yeah, so you gotta kill two for every nest, and then you're only partly done with one. Uh, I was only partly done with one, and now I'm, I've got one dead and one most mostly dead, but slightly alive. Uh, something's not right. And I guess these are the guys. It's like. You don't get a lot of the, just the regular zombies, but these things are everywhere. And they're more annoying than regular zombies anyway. So yeah, throw your little flare, kill the thing, and then go to the next one and throw your little flare and kill the thing. See, because as long as you've got a flare next to you, they cannot insta-kill you. Now, I didn't mean to throw that flare. <laughs> But I am not accustomed. I need to do something with my keys to switch between the headlamp and basically I need to do something with my keys to control my um, auxiliaries. I like the weapons you can switch um, with the key with the key with the mouse wheel. Um, but your auxiliary is just like the two and three button, and I don't like it. I think I'm going to set 1, 2, 3, 4 as my auxiliary choices uh, one of these days. <laughs> Not today, of course. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Oh, weird. Poop. I don't know, man. I, I don't... I'm having a hard time enjoying this tonight. I don't know what's going on. Quit feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> it was it was a hard night. I I I actually started taping. I wasn't all that keen to tape, but I wanted to do one night of multiplayer and I wanted to play the zombie, but you just can't play the freaking zombie. Nobody'll let you in. So I was like, okay, I'll let somebody else kill me. Yeah. I like a lot of games. It's like games where there's a, a type of player that's kind of a pain in the butt. Or a type of character, like a thief character or something that's a pain in the butt. And then you go to play that character and you understand that it's a challenge. And so I want to play the zombie so I can feel the challenge of being the zombie so I can have some sympathy for the guy that's playing the zombie. But I can't play the zombie because nobody will let you play the zombie. Dying Light people out there, you guys playing Dying Light, let people in your game. Let them play the zombie. Okay, you don't even lose any experience for getting killed by the Night Hunter. And maybe that's something that people don't get. You don't lose experience for dying to the Night Hunter. You have absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain. As a matter of fact, you get two new frickin' flares every time you die, unless I'm much mistaken. So let people in! Let people in! Play the zombie! Let people be the zombie. You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Although, I have to say, you'll see later, I didn't gain a whole hell of a lot in terms of weapons from this. They don't give you some kind of really cool weapon or anything. That was a better than average weapon. Ooh. Ooh. One of the cool things about that the zombie does have is, like, they can drop out of nowhere. Whatever. <laughs> See, I'm so pissed. <laughs> Whatever. 
Um, because you can be falling and just hammer the, the Q button, which as the zombie, the Q button is like the kill button. So you're falling, you're falling, you're hammering the Q button, and then as soon as you're in range, you kill them. So I figured that out, even though I haven't been able to be the zombie, because I've played the be the zombie mode practice thing, and I'm like, oh, that's how they do that. Um, I don't know how I missed... Uh, did, did I use them all up or what? But Like, you should basically be able to get to the egg site, throw a flare, and then just kill it. Because the, the, the runners can't do jack to you while you're standing in the flare. The hunter can't do jack to you while you're standing in the flare. But I get so nervous that I can't, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> and, and you'll see it over and over. And this guy's not as good as Mars attacks. Um, I think God it's dead. Mars, man, I mean, not Mars attacks. Mars attacks is a movie. Um, this guy's not as good as Mars, man, in the previous video that I had with an invasion. Um, but it seems like I play worse. <laughs> Because I have all these flares, but I don't use them. See right here, I should throw a flare. But I don't. I'm a retard. If you throw a flare, and again, here, uh, don't use knives. Unless you're, like, accustomed to knives. Because see, I'm cutting the person, but they're still able to swing. So I don't know. There's a way to use a knife, maybe. I don't know. But, um... I actually did that okay. Wow. Kill him again. Yeah. Um. Did we get it? Yeah, you got it. Did you not see it? They gave me a big knife at the end of this. Um. There you go. Now you're talking. Get in there and kill it. The runners can't get to you. That's the way to do this. Um, I don't think Rico had spit. Either Rico didn't have spit, or he didn't know to use it. But it's hard to be the zombie because nobody will let you be the zombie. So everybody's running around with little first level walker zombies that can't spit. Um, it's out there. Marsman had spit, and I think what you do when people are doing like I'm suggesting, if people are using the heck out of um, flares is you spit at them. But I'm such a lamer. <laughs> I'm like, even with all these flares and only um, him without spit, I still am a loser. I like, dude, I do so bad. And it's because of my attitude. I had a bad attitude. <laughs> Had a very bad attitude this playthrough. Uh, because I wanted to be the zombie, and instead I was stuck being the human. And I was just ticked. <laughs> I do love that. But you know, one thing that all video games suffer from, too few um, speaking variations got like two or maybe three little things that he says over and over and <laughs> over <laughs> again. You know, I mean, you got a voice actor sitting there in front of a microphone, have him throw out 20 or 30 things, randomize them. I programmed in high school. And I don't want to pretend like I'm some big program. I'm just saying... The technology behind randomizing things is not that advanced. Oh, for f***'s sake. <laughs> I did not say for sake, uh, just so you know. But the technology behind randomizing things and just inserting me in there is ancient. I was in high school in the 80s. You know, record 50 or 60 little things. Don't record three. I'll show you the light and 
the light is something. I mean, there's like two things he says with the light, and that's it. And he says them over and over and over again. The year is 2005 freaking teen. Learn to programs and voice acts. There need to be more statements. And that's one of the things that brought me to open source. The, the reason why I'm playing this game on Linux rather than on Windows. I was playing back in the olden times when there were no graphics on the interwebs. All text games. And these all text games has the funky licenses that were created by people who had the foggiest clue what intellectual property was really about here. and they just wanted everybody to share stuff and their licenses for LP mud and Deku mud were basically self-destructive um, such that people couldn't even raise money just to cover the cost of servers and stuff you know never mind adding content to it um, so that was my introduction to intellectual property. And so I use Linux. I'm playing on Linux here because open source, imagine I can feel it. just being able to find somebody with a vaguely similar, vo similar voice to this guy and just crank out 50 or 100 different things for him to say, stick it in the file under the various you know situations where he's supposed to say it, change the randomization number from 2 to 57, how much better is this game when Zipperhead doesn't say the same stupid crap over and over? This is what open source does for you. But the thing that people won't do is they won't pay for the initial game. <laughs> they won't pay, you won't, you can't get anybody to front you the money for the Dying Light engine. Once the engine's in place, people will do little piddly crap, but they won't pay you for the engine. That's the thing we need, is for people to get together and to pay for an open source engine. And then people can mod it to their heart's content. And nobody can do a thing to you because it's open source. That's what we need in video games. I've been playing, um... Well, heck, why have I been playing? What's it called? It's the game where you play an army leader and you can command people first person. Oh my gosh, warbands, warbands, mountain blade warbands. And sometime in the next 10 or 15 years, they're coming out with a sequel, theoretically. But, uh, the thing... Ugh. Ugh. Frustrating. I hate these old bastards. Oh, somebody's actually got voice command. <laughs> yeah, man. I got a mic too. So what's good? How you guys working? Two, 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 strategy going and I can't even really understand him and I've got the at this point in time I've got the music cranked up so high I can barely hear him um it's closed now. Watch for so I've adjusted all that now and in future videos um hopefully I'll be able to communicate better with anybody who has a mic Young Styles uh come back come back Severian Autark has the coolest outfit, by the way. I guess he has the, uh, he probably has the season pass. Uh, the outfit looks like something out of frickin', um, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Which this game reminds me of a lot. Um, it's, uh, in Assassin's Creed you're a little bit behind the viewpoint. I guess in Assassin's Creed you can actually make yourself take this viewpoint, but I always play it from that viewpoint where the camera's just a little bit behind. And I feel like it gives me that sense that you get when something is nearby behind you. 
more. This is cool too. Um, you get used to it after a while. I've only ever played Assassin's Creed, the one with the pirates, the one with the ships and stuff. And that's a cool game. I like it. I got it for free with my video card. I didn't get a free game with my most recent video card, which is kind of depressing. But, uh, <laughs> I got Assassin's Creed with my, uh, good grief, GTX 660, whatever it was. In this particular playthrough, I continually get killed by the runners. <laughs> He's like, can anybody hear me? And I'm like, I can, but I can't concentrate. Uh, this is post-production commentary because I was so focused I couldn't talk during this. Oh, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, that right there was me talking. <laughs> That's all I could do. Ow! Oh, I'm lost. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can. It was funny. That's it. Yep, that's it. A brass knife. <laughs> Get it. I ringed up finally. So, yeah. Um, as you can tell, I was losing big time. Uh, and then, like, three people joined my my game and we kicked uh we kicked zombie ass oh crap and that's the thing um there is a balance there because the zombie always has to just kill 10 people so if you've got four people that's more people they can kill and when more people join your server you see that a nest goes from being only two egg plant guy whatever egg guys volatiles whatever four or five of them, so you have to kill four or five to get rid of a nest. So it's balanced, sort of. So yeah, what's going on? <laughs> I've never done this before. How you balance that? Oh, shit, so you can hear me then? Yeah, just barely. I get invaded once a night. Uh, can you hear me better now? Yeah, once a night? Yeah. So everybody slowly abandons the game because there's no more invasions. And here in a minute, I try to initiate one of those competitions, but nobody wants to compete. I don't know if they heard me say that I wanted to do the the storyline and what, but so like, what do I do now? <laughs> Are we just doing the regular storyline now, or what? I don't know, but it's up to you. You're the host, man. Ah. Uh, well, uh, one of these days I'll just set it on constant invasion. Uh, keep me in mind. <laughs> but just for right now, I'm probably going to go run some some of the quests. That was me trying yeah, to tell everybody. I tell you what, I've never been able to be the the ali uh, alien the <laughs> zombie. I've never once been able to get in anybody's game. So he's like ignoring me trading weapons on my game. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um. Yeah, Severian Autark and him were in a different invasion, and they say they're they're basically skipping. But I'm never able to get in. I should try to get into other people's games as a human. The, f the, f the reality is, once you've got more than one human, being the alien is a real bummer. But yeah, um, I don't know how they're ever going to balance it, because how do you know for sure? what's balanced. Y you have to balance things by playing it over and over with, you know, this and that setting. Don't want this and, um, right now it just seems like the minute you have two humans, especially if you've got four humans and one zombie, the zombie's dead. Because you can send one human to just harass the zombie while everybody else kills the egg, egg things. 
And that's what happens here. I was behind. I was going to lose. And then all of a sudden, three more dudes join the game, and the poor zombie is just like... Now, if you get a high-level zombie with spits and all this kind of stuff, well, then all of a sudden, maybe it changes. But Are we sitting here waiting for the other two guys to come over here, or what's going on? Yeah. But, uh... Alright, man. Best of luck. Take it easy. Anyway... Yeah, everybody's checking out. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here <laughs> and uh, start up with what is more or less basically the single player video again. There he is. There's guy finally gets here so I can do the little call. We'll go ahead and do the call since this is a playthrough video. Crane here. Report. Look, I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? <laughs> is that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? <laughs> and for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? Paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. They really do make her quite hateable. That's the one thing they definitely did right in the storyline. Alright, folks. I'll be right back. <laughs>